Hello, this is Joe, and today I want to share with you what I am planning to wear on my girl's trip to Montreal. Guys, the first time I went to Montreal was years, 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 years ago, and it was we went for um, New Year's, a New Year's party, New Year's Eve, and it was so cold. It was so cold. Like, it was cold. Did I tell you it was cold? Because it was cold. And I just remember thinking, this is the coldest I've ever been in my entire life. What am I doing here? It was a beautiful, beautiful city, but I should not have gone January 1st or December 31st. But I have not been back and I'm excited that some girlfriends and I are heading there. And so I'm trying to pack and I have this awesome rack of all the possibilities of what I can wear there. I want to make sure that I'm just packing what I need and not just throwing things in. So I'm going to be trying on, which I don't like doing sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, ah, it'll fit. And then I get there and I'm not liking what I see. So I want to make sure I try everything on and just, I'm going to talk you through what I'm thinking as I am putting things on. So let's get started. So we are planning to leave on Friday and we are going to be driving there. So we're going to be driving north and I looked at the temperature before it said it was super, super cold. But now it's saying that this weekend is going to range between 50s and 60s. And so that's kind of like an in-between. It's definitely fall weather. So I'm excited that it's not zero. <laughs> and I'm excited that it's not 100 degrees. But um, 50 to 60 is good. You might need a light jacket. But it's something that I can work with. It's not bad at all. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to be driving in the car for a couple of hours, more than a couple of hours. And I want to be comfortable. And I know for some people, jeans are really comfortable for you guys. But for me, no. I need a nice jogger. I need something soft and pliable and comfy. But of course, still looks amazing. And so I instantly thought about these awesome jogger set that I got from Amazon. It is, has cotton in it, so it's breathable. It is soft to the touch, and it looks really cool. There's a top and a bottom that I can wear with it together. And I'm thinking, yes, with, let me show you the shoes. These awesome shoes. I love them, some Samba shoes um, that I got recently that I just love. Ooh, look at that, guys, look at that. <laughs> But so I'm just thinking I'll be comfortable and I'll be relaxed. And then I'm thinking, hey, I can throw like a blazer over it. Just again for that third layer, for that chill, but kind of dresses up the jogger, right? So that is my thought. Now something to think about. I have another option. I have another option here on the rack because I am not sure how it will be because the top of the jogger, let me show you. Oops, this is, yep, yep. The top of the jogger is this kind of mock kind of um, hoodie and you have to pull it up and over your head, right? Do you see that? And I am not sure if I wanna do that. If I get hot in the car, do I wanna have to like pull it off like that? And so I'm thinking that the possibility is wearing this same black color. It's cashmere, so again, breathable. And it has a zipper. So if I am feeling cold or hot, I can zip up, zip down. I can take it off easier. And it has a hoodie. So I'm thinking I might wear this instead just because it's easier because of the zip up and the zip down. As I said before, it's cashmere and it's super comfy. So I'm thinking maybe wearing this top instead. So it gives me a little bit more of a flexibility while I'm in the car driving there. 
And of course the blazer, if we stop anywhere or we're going out that night and I don't have time to change, that blazer kind of dresses up the outfit. So that is my thought for the first day. The second day, we are trying to just go with the flow, but it's five of us, so I don't know how you can do that well. But for certain, we are doing a food tour. You know how much I love food tours. Yummy, 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 I'm so excited. I can't wait to go on this food tour. And so we're gonna be walking a lot. It's gonna be between a two and a half to three hours. So there are some possibilities of what I can wear to the food tour and all day just walking around old Montreal, you know, just relaxing, chilling, going to a cafe to get some coffee. I'm so excited. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of this awesome kind of sweater, shirt, blouse that I got from Ann Taylor. I have not worn it yet, so I'm excited to wear it. It was on sale, 30%, as you know, that I love sales. And so this is something I feel it could be for my first layer. And then wear it with some jeans. These are the um, cheeky jeans from Gap. I have a belt here, and if you notice, the belt is kind of black metallic. And so I don't have to worry about, is it black, is it gold, is it silver? Everything just goes and blends with it, which is awesome. So this, this, and then I'm thinking this blazer. This blazer I got last year from Talbot's. I am so excited about it. It's wool. It has blue in it. Let me bring it closer to you. It's this awesome hound's tooth with pink and blue and green and beige and I'm just really excited. Look at that, look at that guys. Do you see that? Do you see how awesome that looks? Do you see it? <laughs> so I am thinking that, and, and if I get hot, I can just take off the blazer. If it gets cold, I can put on the blazer. And what I also am planning to bring that I got recently from J. Crew that I am loving, guys, is this awesome cashmere kind of scarf, massive scarf and kind of pullover. It is super, super long and I can just throw this over it and it's so soft. You know how much I love cashmere. I'm so excited and I'm just thinking of just wearing, um, wearing that over it, um, you know, just in case I need warmth. If not, I can always take it off and just kind of um, put it on the side in my bag. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for Saturday. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, just all day. And then at night we have um, reservation at this restaurant called Bonaparte, or, yeah, Bonaparte, uh, that my neighbor recommended. She actually is from Montreal and she said, guys, you need to check out this restaurant. And so we have, I think we have reservations for Saturday night. So I wanna do a little dressing up, so. Uh, I'm thinking of this awesome sweater dress. Yes, the sweater dress that I got from Amazon. I've, I don't know if I've ever worn it. I got it like maybe a year or two ago and it's been sitting there waiting for some, you know, sometimes when it's really, really cold, I wanna wear pants. And then when it's nice, I wanna wear, I, I don't wanna wear a sweater dress. So I don't know, I'm, I've been waiting to have something to wear that dress to, and maybe this is it. So I am planning to bring that, and with that, look at this guys. So I got these two boots from Zara that uh, I will share with you in another video, but I'm really excited. You might have already seen this. These are a sock boot that I got from Zara. What I loved about it is it's a cute kitten heel. It's not too high so I can walk and it be comfortable and it just fits right on. So I'm either thinking this or this other awesome leather boot that I got from Zara. Friday night. No, that did I say Friday? Did I talk to you about Friday? Let's talk about Friday. What will I wear Friday night when we go out to dinner? We come, I wanna do a quick shower. I've been in the same clothes all day driving and I wanna possibly change into something. This is what I was thinking. In Sweden, 
I went to Koss and these awesome pair of pants, it's like culotte, long, wide leg pants, black and cream or beige with an elastic waist here. Let me, let me show you. And I've been wanting to wear it, the tags are still on, let me tell you. So I'm thinking of wearing that, it's kind of nice, dressy, but casual and comfy. And I'm not sure, you guys are gonna have to, you know, well, it'll be by the time you see this, I've already worn it. So I'll show you what I ended up wearing with these pants. But I have a variety of black tops that I am not sure what, which one I wanna wear. Do I want to wear one that's a V-neck or a round neck, crew neck? I am not sure. So I have options here. Um, just to see what would go well. The, the pants is um, kind of wide leg, so I'm thinking I want a fitted top, but I just don't know what it will look like. So, okay. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday we're gonna go for brunch and we're gonna be slowly doing different things, but we're actually leaving that evening. And I was thinking of kind of stripes. What do you guys think? It's so French, right? These black and kind of off-white t-shirt that I got from H&M. And I was thinking of maybe wearing the jeans again with it. And then adding this kind of third layer with this kind of like a bomber-esque jacket here. It's like a sweater bomber jacket with these awesome diamonds. It's basically beige, I mean cream and black. I feel it would just go really well, guys. What do you think? With the stripes and then with the diamonds, I think it, it, it would go really well. So those are my options. I'm trying all these on as I'm talking to you because it's important to try them on. And I'm hoping that they look nicely. If not, I'm gonna have to change it around. But that is what my thoughts are. So guys, that's it. What do you guys think? Am I missing anything? I hope not. But that is my thoughts for what I'm wearing. And of course, um, all the things that I have shown you, if they're still available, I'll have them in the description below. But a lot of these, I am happy to say, are not new. Some of them are new, but some of them I've had for years in my closet, which I'm trying to just dig in there because I have a lot and not go out and shop. That's what I am trying to do. As you are thinking about traveling, it is, you know, November, Thanksgiving is coming up, Christmas is coming up, and you're thinking, okay, I'm going for the weekend or if I'm going for a couple of days. How do, what am I thinking about as I'm uh, um, packing for travel, right? And so something for you to think about is, you know, try to try on the things that you are thinking about. And just like I'm wearing maybe the jeans twice, or I can even wear the black pants I wore on Friday on Sunday, thinking about how I can rewear things by just maybe keeping the same bottom, but changing the top. And that could minimize the amount of things that you have in your suitcase. Also thinking, hey, these shoes, I can wear it the Friday night, I can wear it Saturday, and it's versatile. Same thing with sneakers, I'm, I'm going to be driving up with the sneakers and then on Saturday I can be wearing the sneakers. Like that is something that I can wear every day as I am there. So just so many things that I'm thinking in my head of what I can wear that is versatile, that is comfortable, so important, and still looks amazing. That's what we're looking for. Comfort yet stylish, yes? Yes. So anyway, I will see you next week. Bye.